people out here because he's not only, you know, sees me as, as an older brother, he respects me also uh, as a person. Uh, he knows that everything we tell him, everything we want him to do is going to be for his own good. You know, he's got a better relationship with my son because they're maybe closer in age uh, than, any, than anything else. You know, my son and him, they, they get along very well. With me, it's more about my older brother. I got to respect his decisions. And he tells me everything. He tells me what's going on. He, he trusts us. He believes in us. And, uh, and we just have to do our job. Can you compare like the relationship you had when your dad was training you compared to your relationship you have with Mikey when you're training him? Like, did you learn things that the way your dad did things that you changed up with Mikey? Look, in, 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 in training, yes. In the relationship, maybe not, 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 not as much as the way I was with my dad. Because my dad was very strict. My dad was hard. My dad would smack me if I didn't, if I didn't, if I didn't get home early on time. You know, it is. Just, it's a total. It's a different. It's a different. Uh, a relationship, but he does have that respect, like I did, like we all do for my dad. And from you know, with Mikey, you know, moving up in, in weight the way he's doing, like people, I don't think are appreciating the challenge that he's taken. And I wonder, like it, this is an all-time timer type thing he's doing. You know, only the greats have ever done this. Well, look, that's why he wants to do it because he wants to be great. He wants to be remembered as as one of the greats. And there's very few that have accomplished what Mikey, what Mikey has done, and, and you know, being mentioned. You know, in the likes of Mayweather, Pacquiao, Leonard, De La Hoya, can't get any better than that. And, uh, and, if, and if he pulls this off, he'll be there. He'll be mentioned, uh, you know, with those guys. And, you know, it's just going to be great for, for my little brother to be to be one of the greats. I personally think Spence is one of the greats active today. Like, I, I look at the welterweights and I think Crawford right. and Spence, and, you know, there's a lot of great welterweights. When you look at him, do you say, he, is he good or is he great? Like, can he be a Sugar Ray Leonard? Can he be a Thomas Ernst? Look, right now, I think, I think he's good, very talented, very strong, very confident. But there's still some fights that, you know, a Leonard, a Duran, there's no way you could compare him to Leonard or Duran right now or Hagler or those greats because, you know, his probably, his, probably his biggest fight has been against uh, Kel Brook. That's probably his biggest win. And Coming off a knockout against Golovkin. And, and, yeah, exactly. And if I'm not mistaken, I, I, at least, I don't know if the judges had it like that, but at least for what I see, I think he was behind. I think he was behind. Uh, so to become great, he's got to definitely beat Mikey and then unify the title. Uh, with so many champions that, that they could easily be made because they fight for PBC. So, you know, he's got to definitely beat those guys to become great. So my last question for you, or last couple of questions, was there ever a low point when Mikey was sitting out? Like, did you and he, did the family, everything, this is it, I may never come back, I may be done, and, you know, boxing behind we never, me? We never allowed that to, to happen. You know, there was a time when myself or my dad, we were thinking, man, this is never going to end, or maybe this is it. But, to Mikey never did. We always, we always, we were always positive. We always stayed in the gym. Mikey, you never know. We, we got to be ready. We got to be ready. And Mikey was very, very, uh, uh, very sure that he was going to come through it. You know, we definitely never showed him any negative things. We did think about it, but right. never to Mikey. And then when he, I don't know, how did you find the news that they got the settlement and then he was free to do what he wanted? Where were you? Did Mikey call you, no, or we how were, did you know? It was a big fight going on in, in Vegas, and we were at the media center. When uh, when the news broke out that Bob Arum had officially released Mikey, but it was because I think the following Tuesday they were gonna have I, I I don't know if it was a court or deposition deposition and everything was already in favor of Mikey. So three days before Arum just says you know, I'm gonna release him because he already knew what was gonna happen three days later. So you never let Mikey get down, but mm -hmm. now you were down a little bit. So now you get that news. What does that do for your person? You know, you all of a sudden here I am, and Look, now Mikey's back. That's the first thing that came to our mind. You know, there's so much we could do now because that was in Mikey's mind. You know, and, and not only win a title 35, but you know, two years ago, now he's going for his third title since he came back. Right. You know, at 35, 40, and now 47. It's just unbelievable. We're so happy. Thanks, brother. Thank you.